Hey, Scott here. Uh, I know you guys have a ton of questions about the LSAT. I'm here to answer them as best I can. Uh, let's see, what's the next one? What is formal logic? That's a, that's a really good question. Uh, one of the most confusing aspects of the LSAT for many students is understanding conditional relationships or formal logic. Formal logic describes relationships between sufficient and necessary conditions, and those can always be translated into an if-then statement. It's a lot easier to understand if we look at spatial relationships because they make sense when we look at them. Uh, for example, if you're in Austin, you're in Texas, right? Austin exists entirely within Texas. And so being in Austin actually necessitates your presence in Texas. And so I could translate that like this. If I'm in Austin, then I must be in Texas. Where else could I possibly be? Formal logic always works this way. Even though it's easy to see when you have a spatial relationship, it works that way for everything else. If you have a driver's license, for example, then you must be at least 16 years old. As you can see, the population of people with a driver's license will be here. People who are 16 is here if it's entirely within that sphere. So does everyone over the age of 16 have a driver's license? Of course not. So formal logic is simply spheres within other spheres. I hope that helps a bit. Mastering formal logic gives you a tremendous advantage on test day because most test takers don't really understand what it means. Uh, so sitting down at the test and, and understanding it fully um, gives you a lot of confidence and you can be completely comfortable while, everything, while everyone else looks completely confused.